<laughs> now what what do you think is gonna happen exactly you think you're gonna step off that ship and do what just go home be with your family you're the captain of a 10 helicopter squadron a military officer in the republic of vietnam's air force that trained here in america do you know what happens to that guy when he steps back in vietnam he dies <laughs> at best that is at best, they put a goddamn bullet in your brain as soon as they see you. Because the other option, the other option is they put you in one of their camps. Oh, and we're not talking some cushy two-year re-education cakewalk. We're talking the rest of your goddamn life. What good are you going to do for your wife? For your kids? For anyone? If you're dead or locked up? If you go back, the only person here who gets anything out of your heroic act is you. You get to feel like a hero, but for them, all you will be is a reminder that they're not allowed to move on. That for the rest of their lives, all they can do is live in the shadow of their suffering husband and father. Your sorrow will be their reality. Is that what you want for them? If you love them, if you really fucking love them, the best thing you can do is let them go! This is what you gotta understand, man. You're dead. We all are. We died at the moment the VC crossed Newport Bridge into Saigon and you flew us the fuck out of there to save us. And that's what you did. You saved a lot of lives that day. But there was one life that got lost and it was yours. Let two and your kids mourn you. Let them say their goodbyes and then let them find some new happiness because it's not gonna be with you. Bottom line, brother, let them go.